There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? Back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone Howdy y'all This is the morning that you know Spring is coming it's the warm weather, it's the good time of year, and I'm so excited, it's here. I can feel it, I can feel it. We're still at the same campground on Iron Mountain, or it's Iron Mountain Campground on the shores of DeGray Lake. And when we last left you, we were the only people at this campground. Guess what? We're still the only people at this campground. Ex wait, I take that back. There is one couple that showed up from uh, Wyoming, and they're on the other side of the bathhouse. But besides that, we still have this campground basically to ourselves. And Kelly, honey, what are you cooking this morning? So this morning I'm gonna do my frittata again. I don't think I've made it for you like in a while, but it didn't work too well as a frittata. So it's probably just gonna be like an egg scramble just because I don't have an oven and I couldn't get it to flip. It just didn't work out really well. So we're just gonna call it a frittata, but it's gonna be an egg scramble. It's gonna kind of look like a frittata, but this time we've got potatoes some peppers i've got mushrooms over here i'm gonna cook which i think these are good so we left y'all yesterday and after we left y'all it did start kind of raining uh, later on in the day more of like a drizzle kind of yeah it was just on and off all day it wasn't really a drizzle it was just a light rain it wasn't too bad at all we did end up just chilling in that big tent all day cody edited i worked out watched some tv kind of same thing you would probably do in your house <laughs> if it was a rainy day like that yeah it was pretty chill it was real nice actually kelly brought in her little blankie and we put in her little lounger and we brought in the heater and it made it feel like a cozy little home in here so this whole entire living room slash lounge it really it really worked out but we are going to go ahead and take it down now so that we don't have as much to take down on friday morning and so that this uh once this dries because there's a little dew on it from this morning not much but once it dries we'll be able to take all this down since it's going to be a gorgeous two days, no rain, beautiful sun. A little warmer. A little warmer, and we'll just work out outside, which we like to do anyways. Well, we're probably we're just going to be mountain biking, so we're probably not going to be working out. <laughs> we get to mountain bike two days in a row. Two days in a row on some of the greatest mountain bike trails in Arkansas. I said that last time, and I didn't mean that because Arkansas has too many great trails to name. Yeah, let's just say the greatest mountain biking capital of the world. It's pretty good, it's pretty solid. So Kelly and I are still digging the uh, lavender petals in the coffee. We've been doing it like every day. I think we skipped one or two days. And what I also love, you can close that, about warmer weather, in my warmer weather because my soap is still frozen but i get to put coconut oil in my coffee and why why does it matter that it's warm out well it's easier to get out let's see it hardens up i don't know if you ever use coconut oil but it hardens up and it's so hard to get out and when it's sitting just a little bit warmer i can get it out and when i know we're washing dishes with warm water then I can use it because cold water, it hardens it so it doesn't really clean it off the dishes. Normally I drink my coffee just black, but whenever she puts those lavender petals in there, I like to have a little bit of creamer, the coconut oil adds a twist, 
and I wish I could froth it. Is that how you say it? Froth? Oh, yeah. Um, well, you could, but you would have to heat up some heavy cream. I don't think I have enough heavy cream for that. So if you use milk, heat the milk up, and then pour it on there like a latte. Or you could use the mixer. The immersion blender? No, the, oh, little, the little mixer. The little mixer we use for our colleagues. Oh, that little thing? But it's too late now, I've already put it. Hey, it's fine. It's a beautiful morning. I don't care. It's one of the greatest mornings of my life. It is pretty nice, actually. Um, okay, so I think that's all we're going to have. And you got potatoes, peppers, mushrooms. I was going to do spinach. I think that's going to be too much for the small pan. Eggs. I got to mix those up. When Kelly earlier said that she doesn't have an oven, she does have <laughs> that oven. Right well, there. yes, but this will not fit in there. And that's just how you do a frittata. You, it needs to be cooked in the cast iron. And then you pour the egg over it, and then you pop it in the oven. You want to keep it in the cast iron. It's just way too much to transfer it to the the uh, baking dish. So it's fine. It still tastes good. I made it like this um, recently, and it was good. Usually I use sausage, but I don't have any sausage. So. All right, we're getting a little behind schedule on our mountain bike ride because we have a little issue, something that some people might not be aware of. The other side of our life is the upload side, the editing side, and that can take up a lot of time and actually affect how we end up spending our day. And we should have been done about two we should hours be ago. On the mountain bike trail, but long story short, um, we have an HP computer. Anybody that's interested in what we use, we have an HP and we upgraded to Windows 11 and then our Movavi editor, he, we upgraded that to 22. Now all of a sudden it crashes when he's editing, it crashes when we try to watch a video, it crashes when he's trying to, what is it you're trying to do right now? I'm trying to export, export it. the vlog. And so I had to do some uh, research on the internet to figure out what, how to fix it. So far it's still going. It's gonna take about 22 minutes to export. We did not wanna leave until it was exported because we have to upload it. We're at 10% now. But this is just one of the things that we have to deal with. <laughs> and we're not complaining, but if, if we end up- behind the scenes. I yeah, mean, if we end up uh, not being able to mountain bike as long as we wanted to, it's because we've been doing this. Earlier, we were trying to watch it and it crashed on us. I think seven or eight times. Mm -hmm. I had to restart the whole while we, because right when we got done eating breakfast, we tried watching it. Yeah, it's one o'clock, and we started jacking with this at ten thirty. Yeah. That tells you a time frame of how long we've been messing with it. The trail we decided to do today is not that long anyway. We could probably kill it in an hour and a half. I mean, don't you think? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's finally past four percent. Four percent is where it crashed. How many times? Like five. Uh, it's done it eight times. Yeah, so eventually we'll, we're gonna get out there, but this is just one of the things we have to do with. But on another note, look what I got. I got myself a chest mount, and we're gonna test this out today and see, uh, see how this looks on the GoPro, try to get the whole entire mountain bike and everything in the shot. I think it's gonna look good. Mm -hmm. You take your GoPro and you'll turn it upside down and kind of like lean it forward, and hopefully it, uh, it'll look really nice. Yeah, practice with that real quick. Yeah, let's do a practice shot. All right, first step, turn the GoPro onto super wide so you can get a wider shot. Now, let's just turn this thing upside down. See what it looks like here. Let's see how this thing turned out. I think it's gonna look good. I think it's gonna look real nice. It looks good. Yeah. It's definitely a better view of the trail, I think. Yeah, I do too. I always felt like with, whenever we had the head mount on, you didn't get to experience the trail as much. This, you actually feel like you're on the trail. You can kind of experience a little bit more. This is getting pretty close to being done. 38%. Kelly clipping her fingernails. 38% right there. Go, 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 go. 
I'm getting excited because it, it just stuck at four earlier. One thing you learn when you have things like this happen is you take advantage of the time the best way you can. So I guess we're just gonna go ahead and take this big thing down now that it's finally dry because we were gonna do this when we got back. It's looking good and we just we just finished putting up the tent just finished putting it up see adapt overcome y'all adapt overcome so i've got to tell you kelly is my lady in in night shining armor because if it wasn't for her she, i wouldn't i would not have gone into the research to find out the setting to fix so when it did an update on this mavavi editor it actually had a setting that you just had to unclick it was trying to compress the file and make it export really fast and because of that it was causing it to crash and this slowed down the export you're my you're my savior babe that's what i usually do i usually just google it <laughs> i google everything well let's get riding <laughs> I really had a blast. That was a fun trail. So we did the white zone, is what it's called. Do I know how many miles it is? No. That was so much fun though. What time is it? It didn't take us very long. 3.22. So what, two, an hour and a half? I got right, an hour and a half, I guess. Yeah, because we finally started riding around two o'clock. Oh, it was so much fun. We're really glad that we chose to do that trail today, given the uh, circumstances we were in this morning. But we're kind of torn right now if we're going to ride tomorrow or not not because we don't want to ride is because we were looking at that water and it is so pretty oh it's so pretty 
It is so gorgeous to look at. I feel like I need to dip my feet in it. I need to like heal my feet. Kelly had a great idea. We're just gonna ease on down to where we were the other day, right next to the bank, and Ke Kelly's carrying her chair. Finally using it. That kind. She's too cool for school, isn't she? And I'll be asking, where's my chair? I don't need a chair. I got rocks. I can sit on a rock. Today has been hands down one of the greatest days of my life. Man, it was a perfect day. So if you're on the lookout for a brand new mountain bike and you're in the Little Rock region, Central Arkansas region, head to West Little Rock, check out Spokes. They have the best service, some of the greatest gear, and the most amazing people to work with. And hopefully we'll be seeing them soon, but right now we're not. Right now Kelly's about to cook something. Honey, what are you cooking? So I've made this a long time ago in the Dutch oven, but I'm going to make it in my Coleman oven today. It is a, it's a pasta dish with rigatoni. It is going to be tomato based with spinach, sun dried tomatoes, some spices, and then cheese. We've got a Parmesan, a Gruyere, and a mozzarella cheese. Sun dried tomatoes. Yes. One of my favorite things. Oh, and some seasonings. What else we got here? We got yeah, basil. Basil, oregano, and of course, red pepper flakes. And then salt and pepper. So this is just a can of crushed tomatoes. I'm going to put it in this bowl here. And this is actually a pretty simple dish. I've got some tomato paste. I'm going to start with a half a cup of broth. 
Now you can use red wine if you want to. We aren't really in the, the wine mood, so we just you're gonna use broth today. We've got some oregano, some basil, red pepper flakes, pepper. Oh, it's finally coming out a little bit larger. When we got this new pepper grinder, I felt like it was coming out fine. I like my pepper to be kind of thick. Mm. Like the salt, look at that. Oh yeah. Salt. I'm gonna go ahead and mix all this together. Do y'all see how chill Kelly is right now? I think I'm exhausted. She had her butt handed to her today. I'm exhausted. All right, and so these, let's see how big they are. That's fine. Let me get another spoon. FYI, we're still here by ourselves. This guy over here, or lady, we don't know who it is, still has not been here. We got here Sunday, and today's Wednesday, and they still haven't showed back up. But besides that, listen how quiet it is. So I'm gonna add some oil. Those tomatoes were in oil, so I'm gonna add some oil. And I'm just going to kind of see how many tomatoes I want here. Because these look really good. And then we've got some spinach. <gasps> I remembered this dish now. Do you know that Rio? Yeah, well? it's coming off. It's coming back to me. And, all that. and we've got some cheese. I'm going to shred the cheese over here. Actually, while well, I'm shredding that, I'm going to go ahead and get the oven started. So, what do you got to get that oven to? I think I'm going to do somewhere around 400, 375. Okay. I believe this is three air. I bought some, but I think I had some left over. I think I'm gonna need more than that. Let me just go ahead and throw it in there. More? I'm gonna do some Parmesan. Parmesan Reggiano? Yes. I always say Parmesan, but because it's a long thing to say, Parmesan or Reggiano. That's what I always like to use instead of regular Parmesan. I think it just has more flavor. You can use regular Parmesan, but that's just what I prefer. Okay. Add some of that in there. I'm just following Kelly back and forth. Put these cheeses in here. Okay. And mix all that together. Now I'm gonna do about half a box of these noodles. I'm gonna put the noodles in there dry and I'm just gonna kind of mix all of this up. Now I'm gonna do more broth. I'm just gonna move the pasta around so that the liquids can get in there. Now we're gonna bake it. I'm gonna check it intermittently just because I know my oven is so I can stir it. And I'm gonna go for the first be like 20 minutes because after the first, after everything is cooked, we're gonna put mozzarella cheese on top of it, put it back in to melt the cheese. So I forgot about the garlic. Definitely want some garlic in there. How could you forget about the garlic? It's salt, pepper, and garlic in all dishes that Kelly makes. Well, like I said, I'm extremely tired, so. Kelly might lay down and just go straight to sleep here in a minute. Oh my gosh. Starting to sound like we might go kayaking tomorrow. I don't know yet. We have no idea. We're just gonna see how we feel. I'm coming over there. I'm gonna use the uh, press. Oh. And I'm probably going to mix it up several times. And then I can see if I need to add more broth or, you know, what's going on. 
we are ready. It says 400. We're going to pop it in there and set a timer for... I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes and then I'll check it. Kelly was about to start cutting bread and completely forgot her timer. You know, I should really be paying attention. Like, I need to help her out tonight and I'm just not with it. I am are, sorry. Are you tired too? Um, yeah. I really bread. am sorry. Well, so what are you doing here, Angel Francis? So, you can't have an Italian dish without bread. So, we're going to cut some bread. This is just a French bread. I wanted to go ahead and pull it out just to make sure nothing was burning. And it looks all good. So, put it back in. I think I am going to add some more broth, though. So you definitely want all your noodles covered in some juice. Okay. All right, let me redo, redo my timer. I'm gonna go ahead and just set it for 20. All right, see you in 20. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. That, that smells phenomenal. I do have to admit, this pan is better than my other one. Oh, the Martha Stewart one? Yes. The only reason I bought that one because it was the only one in that size. Nine by nine. Yes, nine by nine or eight by eight. And no handles. I know it sounds weird, but if you have a nine by nine with the handles that, that come out, it's not going to fit inside that oven. All right, can you flip that bread for me? Yeah. All right, looks good. And I'm going to mash it all in again. And we're going to put mozzarella on top. And I'm only going to give it, I'm going to say five minutes, and then I check it, and then we'll go from there. I think I'm going to want a little more than that. Yes, you're going to want a little more than that. We like cheese. We love cheese. I still don't know if that's enough cheese. Let's go see. Dang, it's already melting. Perfect. All right, now let's pop it back in and woo! That heat is up. What was it? 500. <laughs> I don't know what is going on with this today. Someone asked us in a comment, does this, is it hard to get this up? Actually, it's hard to keep it cool. This thing can get on up to, I think we've wrapped it past 600. Before. Yeah, it's been it's been wild. Hey, that. Just don't touch the metal. I'm gonna leave it open for a second. That's the biggest thing. Don't touch any of this. It will burn you. It's pretty hot. Pasta's done. I haven't pulled it out yet. I just turned the oven off. But last but not least, we love some fresh basil. Look at that! Oh my god, that looks good. All right, and I think we should let it rest before we dig in. It's probably hot.
Well, good morning, everybody. We have decided today we're not gonna ride. We are both extremely sore. <laughs> My butt hurts. <laughs> so we decided since we're on Lake DeGray and it's so beautiful, we could not get enough of it. Yesterday afternoon, we're gonna take the boats out and just spend all day on the water. It is another gorgeous day. And we're just going to finish packing up everything that we need. I might even put my swimsuit on so I can soak up the sun. Oh, I cannot wait. See you on the water. Welcome back to camp. We both showered and I think we're gonna go into town and get a bite to eat. It is St. Patty's Day. So we had a lovely day on the water. The greatest St. Patrick's Day of my life. <laughs> so if you are new here, Cody was an accountant. So for years on St. Patty's Day, he never got to enjoy it. So we're just gonna go all out. We're gonna go out. We're gonna see what's going on. We might drive to Hot Springs. I don't know. We don't have a clue. I think we're just gonna leave y'all here so that we yeah. can enjoy a little St. Patrick's Day celebration. Whoa, hold on. I don't have green on. No, I do. Right there on my, on my boot. It doesn't matter. It does. I have green it does. On. I have green on. I got two green. I'm gonna have to change my shirt. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go change my shirt to green, but we'll catch you on the other. See you next time. 